You guys might be thinking, good lord dude, that is one big phone case. That's not a phone case, that's the phone. Next you're gonna say, that's a massive phone. Well, yes it is, but that's because this right here has built-in thermal imaging and infrared night vision capabilities. That's right, actual thermal imaging. This right here is the AGM Guardian 2 or the AGM G2 cell phone and it's pretty dang cool. And this is potentially one of the coolest and most capable rugged outdoor phones I have ever seen. One thing about me is I don't like to get into the nerdy technical specs of things. This does have some impressive specs and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through in a little bit in the video and I'm just gonna put it out there for you to give you like a couple seconds to pause, read it if you wanna read. Otherwise, we're gonna continue through all the nerdy stuff Yes, it's important because obviously a lot of people want to know what's inside their phone and what's powering their phone. What I do want to get into is the performance of the phone. How well has it been working for me? The other thing I want to talk about is the practical usage of it. How well the thermal imaging stuff actually works on this. And we're going to talk about camera quality and we're going to talk about some things that I'm not a huge fan of on this phone as well. Um, it's a pretty cool phone overall, grand scheme of things, but I will tell you that there are some flaws that I wish would be a little perfected. Now, before we get into it again, one thing I also want to mention, this is an Android phone, whereas I've been using an iPhone pretty much since like 2010. So some of the complaints that I might be talking about could potentially be because I'm not used to it, especially if it's an Android versus iPhone or iOS issue. So what I did with this phone is I took this thing all the way from the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, all the way to the Northern Mountains of Arizona, uh, or the high desert of Northern Arizona. I've taken this phone in a whole bunch of different climates. I've seen wild animals on it. I've seen other wild animals, AKA my son on it. <laughs> and um, I got some footage of me just looking at the dog and stuff like that. So testing out the thermal capabilities. Now what's kind of cool about this is this is a 500 meter thermal imaging sensor on it. So what that means is this thing can detect thermals up to 500 meters away, which is very impressive. Yes, there are other thermal options on the market like thermal attachments for your phone. However, this one does not need it because this actually has a thermal sensor built in. Let me give you a little close up and kind of show you what I'm talking about. So here's the phone. Now it kind of looks like it has a rugged case on it, but that is just the body and skeleton of the phone right there. So this is a fingerprint sensitive unlock button right here. You have your volume buttons and also your focus buttons right there. Now right here on the side, you actually have, this is where your SIM card goes. You take this, you can pull it right out, pull it right out, and then you have a SIM card and a micro SD card right there. But if you look at the chicken coop, you can see the bright white heads. You can change your ribbon, which is right here. You can, it basically changes the look of the thermal. If you prefer that white flush, that white hot look, you can go this one. Then you have iron red, which is pretty cool. You can really see the contrast of the chickens up there. I'm going to record this so you can kind of see the chickens walking around. You can see their, their little white heads up there. It's kind of neat. And then some other ribbon options are the hot iron right here. It's kind of a green and then the rainbow one really shows you a lot of color contrast too. So that's pretty cool. Um, one cool thing about the thermal as well is you can set it to more of like a utility mode where you can actually read temperatures from a distance. So like right now, let me hold it this way. So like right now, you can see a chicken coop right there, 72.1. Now one thing I did was I took this phone over to Dollywood and I had some fun around the steam train. So what I did at Dollywood was when that steam train came rolling through, I actually took the phone and I started measuring temperatures of the boiler faceplate, um, a whole bunch of different stuff like the piston, all that stuff. So I got some cool color samples, some cool temperature samples. Um, it's pretty dang cool to be able to have a phone that can do that. Now, I wanna talk about real quick one other, one other time when that thermal really came in handy. I just moved out to this property. Now we are in the woods, we're in the country of Tennessee, East Tennessee and we have a lot of wild animals. We have black bear, we have white tail, lots of raccoons. So at nighttime, you hear all this stuff rustling around the woods behind us. We have a big ridge and several acres of just open woods behind us before you hit the next house. So, um, and then we have the Chilhawi Mountains or the Smoky Mountains right in our backyard. So we get a lot of weird wildlife stuff out here. That's a woodchuck, goodbye. <laughs> That's Benjamin's head actual camera stuff real quick so right here 
you have a 108 megapixel camera on this guy so it's a good wide angle lens you can really zoom into things in post processing kind of cool um, your standard photo you know you can zoom in all that good stuff um, your video films up to 1080p and then your infrared detect this is your night vision stuff pretty cool you can see it's pretty dark out you know this is low light conditions but then you put on the infrared it's all black and white but it's lit up pretty well also options on here to do macro photo and macro video all that good stuff too one last thing that's pretty cool about this phone instead of your flashlight being the flash on the face of a phone it's actually right here on the front it actually gets pretty bright so it's not too bad we're gonna go over a couple different samples of some thermal imaging or some thermal videos that I've taken so the first thing we're gonna talk about is up north I went to Prescott Arizona and um, we did a gun sight training day uh, with ride on optics so I brought the thermal camera with me the Guardian G2 and I got some random footage of some of the fellows with suppressors. You can see how hot those suppressors were getting. I also have some other footage of me shooting my Glock 45 with the rugged obsidian 45 suppressor. You can see how white hot that suppressor is using that white hot thermal ribbon or that ribbon that I was talking about. Um, another video sample, you can kind of see a woodchuck running into the woods in the Smoky Mountains in my backyard. And then of course, we talked about the steam train. With that steam train coming in, um, you can actually see the train rolling through. Pretty awesome. Okay, now that we talked about the photo and video specs, let me talk about my complaints on the phone. Now, I do social media. I, I'm a media creator. I love making videos. I love taking photos. I have some pretty nice camera gear, so I'm a little spoiled when it comes to video quality and photo quality. Now, even though this is pretty capable, it's a great tool to have. One thing that I found it is not, is not a media phone. So even though it has your cool thermal imaging, it has your cool infrared capabilities, one thing it doesn't have is the ability to go past 1080 as far as video quality. I'm a big 4K fan. I film everything in 4K. Um, so 1080 is where you're stuck at. And then as far as changing your frame rate, there's no way to change your actual video frame rate on this thing. Now what you can do is you can download photo or video apps on this thing. That'll give you the ability to unlock your raw technology, your raw photo technology. Then you can take this thing and you can shoot at whatever manual settings you want. But with the default application on this phone, I have not found a way to actually change your photo and video settings as far as quality is concerned. So um, I'm not sure if this thing's capable of taking 4K video with an external app. It very well could be. So that's my complaint. It's a feature that should be on most phones, especially in today's day and age. But that also depends on the usage of your phone. We're gonna get nerdy about this thing for you guys real quick that want to know more about it. I'm gonna go ahead and list out all the specs. I'm gonna have the chipset um, and all the other capabilities of the phone right here. So I'm gonna give you guys five, 10 seconds to look around. Here's some pretty elevator music for you to do so. All right. <clears throat> so what we talked about so far is the usage of this phone. Now, another cool thing that you can use this for, especially again, the thermal capabilities, is if you are a contractor. Now, a lot of you guys probably know, I don't YouTube or make videos full time. I do that on the side and it's a passion and a hobby of mine. And it is also a side income that I've been making for my family. Now, one thing though, is my main job. I do work in the industrial mechanical field. So um, I look at a lot of things like HVAC equipment. I look at big chiller rooms. I look at pumps. I look at um, all that stuff, mechanical rooms. So what's kind of cool is you can actually go through and use your phone at work. You can look at things like circuit breakers. You can see what's getting hot. If there's a contactor that's buzzing, that's or contactor wiring that's getting hot. Um, I've even, I brought it to a central plant and I looked at some of the pumps. You can see the hot spot of where these actual pumps are. And again, you can measure surface temperature of those hot spots with the phone too. So it's a great tool if you're in the professional mechanical industry, not to mention 
fire department, you can see where the hot spots are in insulation. If you had a fire, you can go in the attic. When I was in the fire department, we used to have a, a thermal imaging camera. It looked like an old Sony camcorder. And um, we'd use that thing for attics. We'd go into attics, look around, see if we can find any really hot spots in the attic where there might be some smoldering or embers, stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool feature. Next thing, hunting outdoors. If it's low light, dark out, and you need to see, or even at a distance, it'll pick out thermal. It'll pick up thermal traces and differences up to 500 meters. That's pretty dang cool. And that thermal imaging camera does work pretty well. So overall, this phone is actually packed with features. Though it might not necessarily be a normal media phone, something that you want to take photos and videos with, it is capable of taking decent photos and decent videos. A little high on the contrast side for my, a uh, little high on the contrast side for my preference, but it does a pretty all right job with that. But where it really excels is the features. The thermal imaging is excellent. The the infrared night vision is excellent. So it really helps around the house nighttime when it's dark. It's kind of cool. So. AGM Guardian G2 costs around a thousand bucks, but if you think about it, so do all the other phones if you're to buy them outright. So it's not too crazy when it comes down to price. This is not a phone case. This is the phone body. It does come with a couple extra glass screen protectors, which is nice. And then um, I just took the SIM card out of my iPhone, stuck it inside this thing and setup was instantaneous. So even going from an Apple product to Android, the hardest thing was syncing my contacts, but I did all that through Google Drive, I believe, or Google One, something like that. So overall, the AGM Guardian G2 is a pretty dang cool phone. It offers a lot of features. One more thing, I, I totally forgot to talk about this. This big old bulge right here on the back is a speaker. And this thing, this thing bumps, it gets loud, so. This little speaker is awesome. You can set your phone down, play some music, and it works pretty well. And all these things around, you have a little flash and IR stuff. You got all different camera lenses. This is your thermal sensor right here on the back. It does also charge through USB-C right down here. And then you have a microphone jack right here or a headphone jack right here. So go to plug in headphones. You know, like iPhone went away with the headphone jack, which is kind of stupid because we all had to change our headphones to go wireless, earbuds, something like that. So it's nice to bring that back. You already have a massive phone. Why not stick some extra features in there? USB-C, huge bonus. I love charging everything through USB-C. It's the way of the future. It's the way of now. That's all guys. I didn't get too nerdy on you, I hope, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video on the AGM Guardian G2 phone. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later.